Hey guys, and welcome to day number 16 of the countdown to the 23rd of December, where I'm counting down to the 23rd of December, like I just said, which will be the day I'm going to Bloomfields for the Christmas vlog, which I've done last year and I'll be doing again this year. So, as you can see in the background, is my cat. Which my head will probably be. Ah! Arm. Smile up there. So, in this video, um, might be more for little kids, really. Little kids do want some, some pretty pedophile ish, but um, I'm gonna be telling you 15 steps on how to sleep on Christmas Eve. Um, I'm 15 years old and I still have trouble getting to sleep on Christmas Eve. I know that sounds a bit pathetic, really, but it's just the way I am. I still get excited on Christmas Eve. I know a lot of other people still do, but anyway, let's get on with the video. So, how to get to sleep on Christmas Eve. Step one, just try to think of it as a normal night. Just do the same things you would normally do every night. Um, like, read a book, if you read a book, watch a movie, uh, watch a TV show on your iPad, iPod, or whatever, on your DVD player, whatever you want. Uh, chat to your pets. Uh, my cat there. Anything, just whatever you do on a normal night, just try to do it on Christmas Eve night and it'll feel like a normal night and then you'll be able to get to sleep easily. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do, so hopefully you'll be trying to do that as well. Uh, also a technique, I'm actually reading this off Wiki How as well, so a technique that, strange as it sounds, works well to play a quiet game you can play alone or if another hyper and excited friend or sibling is Mad Libs in bed. If you don't know what Mad Libs is, that's... Um, you like write different words, it's like blank words, you write different words in and it makes up a whole story, it's just it's pretty fun, I've actually played it before when I was little, it's pretty fun. Um, relax, step two is relax, if you're just jumping up and down and feeling hyperactive like you normally would, you just need to try and calm down, you're only building up excitement and that will be harder to calm down from, so just try to relax feel like it's a normal night and it will be a normal night and you won't be as excited and you'll, you'll be able to sleep and then Christmas will come sooner. Um, when you go to bed, get into a comfortable sleeping position, you know, uh, tr just get into your most comfortable position you can and hold that position for 30 seconds and do it again, do it over and then eventually you'll fall asleep and then it'll be Christmas. Um, yep, step number four is count sheep. I used to do this when I was little and it never worked, but hopefully it'll work for you guys. I don't know. I'm gonna try this. Sorry, um, I'm gonna try this for this Christmas. I'm just gonna try and count sheep and hopefully I'll be able to get to sleep easier. It's just some, loads of people do this and it does work, but it's never worked for me, but hopefully it will on Christmas Eve night. Um, don't peek into the living room. This might spoil the surprises and will keep you very excited and awake, but um, I already know what I'm getting because since I'm older, um, I don't, I like pretty much, <coughs> sorry, I ask for what I want. I know that sounds a bit greedy, but I don't want to get something I already have because that'll be even more of a waste of money. It's just, it's better if you know what you're getting with, from your parents and stuff because you know. You're not going to be disappointed if it is something you've already got. Like, say you had a Nintendo Wii or a 3DS or whatever, and then your parents buy that on Christmas, and then that's like a hundred and whatever quid wasted, and you don't really want that. That'll be worse than feeling greedy and guilty and stuff. Um, and as well, I always get money from my relatives, so I just get to decide what I want to buy with that money for, without them buying something and then getting something I already have, like I just said. So yeah, but if you do, um, like a lot of people, if you do get presents, um, surprises from uh, your parents and stuff, don't peek into the living room, that'll make you even more excited. This Because you might be able to tell what it is from the shape of the packaging and stuff, so yeah, just don't peek into the living room, it'll spoil the surprise. Um, number six, if you have a pet, snuggle up with it, that's one of the things on this. If the pet is big enough to fit into your bed or wherever you're sleeping, Try to fall asleep. It helps you to sleep when you have someone else in the room with you. It'll make you fall asleep a bit faster. Um, I would do this, but I'm not allowed to keep my cat in my bed because it'll it'll be really really annoying. I'm sorry, Maya. No offense. No offense, but she will wake me up constantly. Wake me up. Try to 
Um, she'll get out of the bed, want to go on top of the cover, and then she'll want to go under the cover, and top of the cover, and all. And then she'll want the claw out to go to the uh, the litter box, or food, or get food, or whatever. And it'll be annoying opening the door and closing it every time. Uh, it'll just keep me up all night, and that, that'll be even worse. So, yeah. Step number seven try exercising, do jumping jacks, whatever. Whatever will keep you. It'll make you even more tired if you exercise and then Christmas will come faster. And then your, your body will feel physically tired so your body will want to sleep. Better still, it will take your mind off Christmas for a little while. Um, step number eight, lie in bed and say this in your head. Relax my toes, relax my arch, relax my heel. I've actually never tried this before. I might actually try it on Christmas Eve this year. It might sound corny, but it really does work through the power of suggestion. Make sure to work all the way up your head. Even keeping the effort and concentration of doing this is like a great distraction. You may not even get up to your head before you're snoozing away. That kind of sounds like lucid dreaming, and I'm, I'm kind of scared to do that in case I get stuck in a sleep paralysis. And then, But I'm awake, but I'm paralyzed and sleep as well at the same time, you know. Yeah. I've had sleep paralysis before, it is not good. It's scary. Some scary crap, right? Um, step number nine, drink more milk or at least some eggnog. I've never drank eggnog before. Sorry, it's a bit loud. So, yeah, drink warm milk, but that would make you gassy and or make you need to pee at night, so maybe not try that. Um, it says, the milk provides calcium, magnesium, and l tryptophan I don't know what that is. I can help you sleep. It, you can also try hot herbal tea. It is very soothing and calming to drink. So yeah, try and drink some uh, a warm drink. It might make you more tired and stuff. It's soothing. Yeah. Number ten. As I've already said, read a book. It can be about Christmas or whatever. Just read a book, and it might make you tireder and make you sleep, make you want to sleep, and then you go to sleep. Uh, near, nearing the end now, uh, number 11, listen to slow Christmas music and think about the real reason why you celebrate Christmas, that sounds pretty corny, but yeah, this helps. And uh, number 12, set a time to wake up, well uh, I normally wake up at 7, but then we don't go down until half 7, because you know, my mum is still asleep, my dad's still asleep, so we have to wait till they wake up so we can go down, uh, so the whole family can be together and open the presents and stuff. So yeah, um, set your time for example 7, every, when everyone is prepared to get up, so just set one that the whole family agrees with. If you can get up earlier than this, have some breakfast, go to the washroom, get ready so you can actually look okay on video. I, I'm not actually sure if I'm going to record um, opening presents this year, it's not sure, it's a possibility I might, but I'm probably going, I'm getting a Wii U for Christmas as I said in a previous video, so I might record some gameplay of that, me playing on Christmas day. So yeah. Number 13, don't sit at the computer or laptop or iPad or whatever late at night if you can't sleep, this will only keep you awake. I always watch my iPad late at night anyway, and it does keep me up, but I still do it, so yeah. The light fills your body into thinking it's not bedtime. If you watch TV before bed, try to, not, uh, try to turn off or down all the other lights so the room is darkened. That will get your body ready to sleep. And number 14, Burn a candle, preferably lavender or jasmine, in a safe place in your room and lie very still with your eyes closed. This smell should relax you, so I'll hopefully try and get you to sleep. And number 15, have a Merry Christmas. So thank you for watching day number 16, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, the reason I haven't been doing it this week is because it's been a school week. I would have literally no time to make a video because um, I always record my videos in here and <coughs> I always have homework, my brother and sister have homework, and I'll get literally no peace whatsoever to make the video. Sorry, um, so there is, there was, yeah, literally no peace to make a video in here or anywhere because my family would just barge into the room and then my, and my video would be interrupted. So I can't really do it then. Um, yep, so next week I'm off for study leave. Well, not actually off, I only have to go in for exams. So when I get home from doing an exam, I will make the content video. So yep, back tomorrow, and in tomorrow's video, I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about. Um, oh yeah, I know, sorry, I'm, I'm going to be telling you for the next, um, for the next uh, week, for the next seven days or so, I'm going to be saying a great Christmas gift to get. So yeah, every day there will be one great Christmas gift to get, so it'll take me up to day number... Day number seven, and then it'll only be a week till the, the 23rd, 
And from that week up, I will probably just be doing, um, like, I'll probably say my favourite Christmas songs, top five Christmas songs, day number seven. Day number six will be, what's I'm looking for? Um, uh, what, uh, my Christmas Eve traditions, probably. Day number five, um, what I'm going to be doing on Christmas, like, plan, what I'm planning to do on Christmas Day, like, what I'm doing in the morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever. Day number four will be... Uh, sorry, this is... I'm trying to plan it out. Day number four will be... Um, I'll probably review, my, review Elf, which is my favourite Christmas movie. <coughs> uh, day number... Did I say three or four? I don't know. Day two will be... Uh, well, I, I'll decide them after day two and one, and then on the twenty third it'll be the day where I will be going to Bloomfields with my sister to do the Bloomfields vlog. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. If anyone watches it, I don't care. I just like making these videos. Hopefully people will watch the Christmas Eve vlog, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So thanks for watching this video. I'll be back tomorrow with the first in my top seven Christmas gifts. Goodbye.